Yeah, welcome back everybody. I hope you had a uh, good video there in the second one of our series. First one was the grip, of course, or really important. The second one was the pre-stance, where we haven't really got to the mat yet, uh, and that's so important. And this third one now is the stance. And the stance, uh, this is another one that drives me nuts. Um, it's, you know, you get, you get some people are, are, and everybody has a different, a different way of looking at it. I mean, you took, take a look at other sports and people have weird stances and that, and they're successful. But they play thousands and thousands and thousands of bowls and they do the same thing every time. I see so many people doing things differently. So let's get something that'll be absolutely repeatable for us because that's so important, okay? So, what we've been told in the past is get both feet together, get them on the mat like so, and uh, hold on. Do you stand like this? I mean, normally. Do you? Let's, let's talk about this, okay? Let's just, let's just have a little chat about this. Because as you can see, I just came up and just naturally, I stand like this. I don't stand like this, okay? I don't get up and, and go like this in golf. I don't, I relax. I'm just there relaxed. I don't want other things to get in the way. So I don't want to get in the way by saying, somebody telling me I have to have two feet on or above the mat. You only need one foot on or above the mat or a piece of your foot now on or above the mat when you deliver a ball. So let's just be comfortable. Let's relax, get the shoulders down, be a little more comfortable on this whole thing. So we've taken our pre-stance, we've stepped up to the green, and we're ready to go, and we're lining the bowl up. No, you've done that before, folks. That's the, if you didn't figure that one out, that this is wrong, go back and see the first video again, that pre-stance one. Okay, enough with the chastising thing here. Because this is the part that I really like. Is, is your natural standing position. And you notice I was standing there like this, just chatting to you. Well, this is the way I stand on the mat as well. Once I get the bowl lined up, I stand like that as well. Why? Because 90%, 95% of my weight is on my right side as a right-hander. Why do I want that? I want that because I don't want, let's say I'm 50-50 let's say I'm 50 50 weight, and I'm, I think I'm comfortable. I want you to look in behind me and pick something out right in behind my head. Okay? Because in order to come forward and deliver my bowl online, watch in behind, and I want you to tell me whether that disappears. Whatever it is in behind me disappears that side or that side. Because as I come down, I have, to transfer, I have to transfer my weight to my right side. If I transfer out this way, I'm coming out this way. I'm off-center, right? I'm off-balance. I want to have perfect balance by the time I do come forward. So this is where we go, and sometimes I'll actually coach people and say, you got too much weight in your left side, I want you to stand with your toe. Just put your toe, this is not your delivery for a game, this is to practice. I want your toe on that side so that 90% of your weight is on your right side. When you come forward then, then you deliver your ball. Important, 90% of your weight on your and yeah, yeah, okay, 88, 92, whatever it is, but the majority of your weight on your right side, okay? So you're lined up, you're on the right side, you got your bowl up like this. I'm gonna go to the other mat now. One thing I would really like to see you do in the method that we teach and that I teach here is get that bowl below parallel. To get from there to there is one extra piece of the puzzle and that you don't need. It doesn't do any good at all for you. What you want to do is when you're coming up to the mat, you're lining your bowl up. So if your bowl's up like this, you'd have to look over top of it to see it. I just want to see the bowl down there. Think of it that way. It's still in line. There it is. Okay, so the arm's nice and relaxed. Notice I have a little bit of a bend in my arm here. Okay. See how easy that is? There's a little bit of a bend. The ball is just under parallel. There's a slight knee bend because I don't want anything locking up. What would happen, and think about this, what would happen if I locked both knees up? What's the first thing I'd have to do to get moving forward? I'd have to bend my knees. I'd have to unlock them. So let's unlock everything that we have to, including our head, right, our minds, our elbows, our wrists, everything. Just have the ball sitting there with that first video, the grip, our pre-stance, we already know where we're going, we know what shot we're playing. Now let's get comfortable when we're up there so that when we deliver the ball, once again comes out smooth as silk. Thank you. Okay, a couple things that I've seen other people do and the way they deliver is this, and you'll see it. 
Okay, if their bowl is lined up properly, I have no problems with this except for one thing. And what did I say before? You've got to have most of your, your, your weight on your right side. So when I see people do this, the first thing that I do is I go up to them and I go like this. And if their arm doesn't come off immediately, I know that they've anchored their left side. This anchoring, the first thing you have to do is what? Unlock the anchor. So anytime you hear, you hear yourself thinking, I've got to unlock something before I get going, like this, unlock, transfer weight, go across to the side, whoa, too many things. If you want to stand here like this and just touch your, your touch like this, that's fine. And then deliver the bowl, that's fine too. Okay? But I prefer to stand up like this, get a little bit like this, and that'll come out in the next section that we talk about, which is the forward motion. Okay? So again, my grip, I've got it. I've got my, my pre-stance. I've lined up my bolt, my point of aim. Now I want to take my stance, which is not a statue. It's just a stance. It's just me getting to the mat, nice and comfortable. Elbow, nice little bend, knee bends, and my arm just below parallel, so that the next stage, which is the drop, comes down, and away we go. Well, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you have any questions, leave a little comment down below. Uh, go to our website and uh, take a look at, at our forum. We'll have some uh, questions there. Maybe some other coaches will chime in as well. Uh, stay safe, be healthy, folks, and uh, have a great day.